What's the biggest red flag in a guy's place? Um, a small d Well, my red flag is that then. Clearly. What's Can a low- I walk away now? No, one more. What's the lowest amount of money you want for a wedding ring? Like, 500K. I think you're worth more. Thanks. What's the longest dry spell you've ever had? Two weeks. Is this thing on? It is now. You turned it on. Oh God, I wish. If more men said that, I wouldn't be single. Why are you single? I don't know. I've been asking the big man upstairs for a long time. Uh, I, I still don't know. I've been staring at my little man wondering why I'm single. You know what? I got rid of my little man and I'm still single. <laughs> What's the lowest amount of money you want for a wedding ring? Honestly, I take plastic ring. I don't care. Why would you take a plastic one? Because it's not about material. It's about what's in here. And there, there's pain. So where's the Bank of America here? No, I'm just kidding. What's the longest dry spell you've ever had? A day. When you go into a guy's place, what's the biggest red flag? Like a crusty, dirty, like toilet bowl. Mine's spotless. What do you think about that? That's amazing. It means like you care for yourself and like you probably value yourself. You want to yeah. come see it later? Um, probably not tonight. Probably tomorrow. Maybe just not. Uh, I don't want you to tomorrow? see it anyways. What's a red flag in a guy's place? If they're stupid. Can you give me an example? That's kind of doing it for me right there, man. That was nice. Did you do that the whole interview? One time I went to this guy's house and there was like hair shavings like all over the toilet and I thought that was so nasty. Did you go in there to take a dookie? No, I probably should have though. It was really nasty to you, so I mean mine as well. <laughs> Disrespected even more? A female razor. He has a girlfriend. You don't want to use it? What if he bought it for you? That's how you get hepatitis, honey. You need to go and to Planned Parenthood. What's the lowest amount of money you want for a wedding ring? Like lowest, lowest, like 10,000. Damn. And maybe because that's like how much that's how much you want. That's how much I can afford, so I'm like, you better put out the same, you know? So you're gonna get a guy a 10K ring too? I would get him a dope ring. If I can afford like a sick ass ring that's like really expensive, then yeah. Do you know what kind of engagement ring I think you should get? Uh, what kind? This one. A ring pop? Yeah, that's perfect. Not 10K, you get one of those. It's only like $2, that's what I'm worth. It's great. What's the best way to pick up on you? Um, just being normal. Like, just being like, what hey. I come up and do this? Oh! Absolutely not. Come on, really? I really worked on that. Canceled. If a guy's gonna come up to me, they just have to be normal. And just be like, hey, like, I think you're really cool and whatever, like. You wanna go to Costco later? I fucking love Costco, so I'd say, yeah, let's fucking go. When you go to a guy's place, what's a red flag? Navy sheets. Why does everyone say that? I got those. It's giving college, it's giving I sleep with someone every week. Yeah. You know? You could be one of those people. I'm past that. What sheet color is going to do it for you? If I told you a color, you're like, I'm coming over. Uh, white. Ew! I don't eyelashes. Know. eyelashes. Leftover eyelashes. And you got all the answers. You know this one, huh? Yeah. I haven't been to as many guys' places, so. Oh! <laughs> I'm, good night, good night. With the heater! <laughs> What's your longest dry spell? You know what's actually really sad? Is my longest dry spell was like while I was in a relationship. And it's like five months. I want a relationship like that. That sounds great. It's really sad. I hate saying that. Oh my god, I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Hi, welcome back to Why the F*** Are We Single? I'm here to interview, what's your name? Jari. He won't let go of the mic because he has trust issues, obviously. Mari, what do you what do you love about women when you first see them? Not physically. Oh, god. That's hard. You said not physically? See, I'm good at questions. Everyone's bad at answers, though. Those are the heavy hitters. Are we in love? Do you want to go on a date sometime? Yeah, where do you want to go? Somewhere, like, cheap, like McDonald's. That's a little too pricey. I have no comeback for that. I'm shocked. That's my cue to leave. I love you. It's over now. Socks on or off? Off is like the sock toes. The You're a freak, aren't you? She is a freak. <laughs> she said it, so... That's Saying all the right things. I know. Duh. What's a red flag when you go into a girl's place? If I'm going to the girls' place, usually that's generally a red flag. All right, Mr. Big Dog. <laughs> you come to me, woman. It's like if you're going to hers and she's got it all set up and ready, it's set up and ready for anyone, right? Yeah, like she's too ready. <laughs> What's the lowest amount of money you want for a wedding ring? Most or least? Lowest. There's no most. It, it depends how old I am when I get the wedding ring. If I'm in my 30s, probably at least like 15K. But right now, I mean, I wouldn't get married right now. So, yeah, I only... Too busy having fun. No, I'm just not ready to marry right now. I think instead of Wait, 20K, you should get one of these. Oh, thank you. I 
I don't want a wedding ring. Okay, I'm a little more than that, I will say. I don't know, 1500 I feel like that's not a lot. You know what I think you should get? A ring pop? Ooh, uh, ooh. Wait, I don't even know your name. It doesn't matter. I got white sheets, baby. This is <laughs> he, passed. He, he passed the vibe check. He passed the vibe check. No. It doesn't matter. What if I got you a vape instead of a wedding ring? I'm good on that. <laughs> 10K. 30K. 30K. Yeah, you're that much better than her, huh? Yeah. You're absolutely right. <laughs> that was a flex on you. That's crazy. You think she could get 30K? I know, I can't, but I don't know if she can. Yeah, I can. How do you treat a guy like a prince? You give him flowers and you're sweet to him and you ask him like how he's feeling um, because a lot of guys don't talk about their mental health and I feel like that's super I, emotional. I don't want any flowers. Then give him head. Yeah. Then give, then him, give yeah. him head. Yeah. yeah. I give that's him what I want. That, that's going to make me feel like. Head. What's princess treatment? Uh, girls who just want purses for their birthdays instead of experiences. Um, you give me everything I want and you're sweet to me and you give me devotion and it's borderline obsession. I'm already obsessed. You're obsessed with me? Okay, okay. I'll give you my number later. Get some flowers every once in a while without asking. It's like doing stuff without asking. What if I got the flowers and I just threw them at you? Like threw them at my face? Like just like took them and was like... I would rate that like a 8 out of 10. My own interpretation yeah. of being treated like a princess is... What do you like? <laughs> I'm so done! Okay, um, it, it depends by day. What do you want right now? Just a good time. Just a good fucking time. I'm full of good times. I mean, it's our friends. Gra How do you treat a guy like a prince? Um, I put my hand on his leg when I'm driving. What's the best way to pick up on you? Um, compliment my name. Manuela? Yeah, I like that a lot. I like your name. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Manuela. Hi, Manuela. Do the noise again. Hi, Manuel. Do it and then look at the camera. Hold me. Pick me up off the ground. Where do you want me to hold you? Over the toilet? No, that's bar talk. I'm more um, over the mountain. Throw me over. Threaten me, kind of. Hold me. Throw you over the mountain? But also be nice. What happened? You got to get rid of that water bottle down there. I look good back there. She camera ready, guys? Do you want to come to the wedding? I'm getting married. I want to be your best boy. Uh, be real. It's boring. Tell me uh, what you like about me or like what you like about me physically. What if I said I like your hair and your facial structure? I would love that, thank you. One. That one's cute. Yeah, that's yeah, unique. That's so thank yeah. you, thank you. Just be direct, be straightforward, say what you really want. Like if you want my number, just ask for my number. I just skip that and just give you my address and my bedroom number? For sure. Do you want me to like peek into your window? I'm gonna be sleeping under my blankie. Perfect, I could do that. What's one reason Joe Rogan would have you on his podcast? Joe Rogan. <laughs> My mentality. I feel like Joe Rogan's all about his mentality and all about like his, you know, people being like in different mindsets and shit. Honestly, I've done a lot of stuff at a young age where it's giving me a different mentality on a lot of stuff and a perspective on things that people are like, shit, you went through that. And I feel like that's what Joe Rogan's all about. What's one reason Joe Rogan would have you on his podcast? He probably wouldn't because I would make him cry. Why would you make him cry? Because he's a misogynist and I would probably just call him out for his misogynist behavior. You would just go at him? Probably. Just tear him apart? Yeah, I normally do that to men. Would you tear me apart? Probably. Like with pegging or something else? What's the lowest amount of money you want for an engagement ring? Honestly, I don't really care about an engagement ring. Probably at the least, maybe like four or $5,000. I think that's a modest amount. What about you? I'll take anything at this point. Feel that. What okay. are you gonna get me? What kind of wedding ring are you gonna get me? I'll get you a... What are them candy rings called? Oh. If you said you take anything though. Over a hundred thousand dollars. You know what I think you should get? What? <laughs> you know, this is worth it. The universe brought you to me. We're a match made in heaven. We are. Yeah. I, I can feel it. What's the biggest red flag when you go into a guy's place? Whenever they have the empty liquor bottles that are like just in their room for no reason, it's just there for display purposes. I don't feel like that passes as decor. I have 30 empty bottles of Jameson at home. Oh. Um, other girls' stuff everywhere. You like it uh, clean and organized when you go over? I mean, definitely. I say dirty bathroom. Mine's spotless. I love that. I want to see it? <laughs> um, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> put you down for a maybe. <laughs> dirty dishes, condoms everywhere. <laughs> what if it's just a couple condoms? One? You want to make that mess yourself, right? Yeah. In my room, there's a million of them. I mean, at least you're being safe. It's a red flag. 
um, the bathroom, bro. If that bathroom's like fucking stinky, like it's like sticky around the walls, around the toilet, no, like, nah, I'm out. Do you want it clean for when you blow it up? At least, or, I'm not gonna blow it. Come on now. <laughs> Why not? You gotta break it in. Myself. Come on, I'm gonna clean up after myself. What's the biggest red flag in a guy's place? When he has no siblings. When his dad leaves him. Why is it a red flag if he doesn't have siblings? Because that means they weren't raised by AK a woman. Only the, the, the mom, which is probably at work. He's being a lazy piece of shit. What's the biggest red flag when you go into a guy's place? Let me be completely honest with you right now. I'm Pan. Peter? Here? You said Pan. Pan. I said Peter. P mm, that was funny. Biggest red flag. If I'm going to his place or I'm going to his bedroom. It's the what, either one. Okay, the living room is really nice. It's inviting. You go into the bedroom, right? And they don't have a headboard or they have the navy fucking sheets or they literally have two pillows that are literally ancient, like as old as their grandmother. That's a fuck boy. That's a fuck boy. You're there for the good time. I'm there to... Free if condoms. Free condoms for everybody right now. Not even I'll take 20. Take fucking 20. Take fucking 40. It's really nice. Do we need one? Yeah. Have some. Girl, it's time to have fun. You're going to leave once. Oh, extra small. It looks like your extra size. Uh, it's too big, actually, for me. 